<clears throat> hey guys, I want to talk about four effects and pedals that I think are absolutely essential in anyone's uh, rig. Um, I've had to play uh, abroad in a lot of countries and travel light, and uh, when I have to use amps that aren't my own, uh, these pedals have gotten me through every single gig I've ever needed them. And I'd like to explain how they work and how to use them. Alright, this is a delay pedal. Um, it's an effect I don't think any serious lead guitar player should be without. It can fatten up your lead tone and create uh, mind-bending, time-based effects. <laughs> to utilize the delay pedal, first you need to set the mix. That's the balance between the dry guitar sound and the wet signal of the effect. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything higher than 50-50, and I like to keep it around uh, 10 or 11 o'clock. Feedback will control the number of repeats you get. On a digital delay, you're going to get a tone knob, and um, pretty much when it's all the way up, you're getting like a complete replication of the original signal. Um, and the more you turn it down, the warmer and more analog the repeats are going to be. Um, time is very self explanatory. If you can't afford a rack mount system, the Tech 21 has a few features that make it very unique. Um, I haven't mentioned it already, but you always want to run the delay pedal through a loop if you're using the gain from your amp. Um, and anyways, this has a, uh, a preamp boost in it, so pretty much it's a, a one switch solo pedal with a, a volume boost and a delay sound. Okay. Another really useful feature is the tap tempo. Um, if you're playing live with a drummer and you wanted to do something like... easier to keep something like that in time with a live drummer. Hey, this is an 808 Tube Screamer. Um, this is one of Andy Sneep's trade secrets. If you've ever admired uh, an Exodus guitar tone, you're hearing this. Uh, it's not a distortion pedal, and uh, you don't really use it like an overdrive pedal either. A lot of older rock-oriented amps, like Marshalls, Mesa Boogies, and PVs, they might have a great basic tone, but um, the low end might be kind of loose or flubby, making a great thrash sound difficult to achieve. When you run your guitar through an 808, it sends the amp a more mid-range focus frequency. It has a low cut in it. And uh, when the amp gets that mid-range, it uh, creates a much sweeter, tighter thrash sound. Um, it gives you a much more focused low end. Um, it's a very easy pedal to use. Um, basically, you start with a tone and adjust the taste. I like a darker sound, so I like to keep it less than uh, 12 o'clock. You want to use the overdrive sparingly, um, it depends on how much gain you think you need or how much the amp is lacking. Um, this is a level control, basically you want to crank this sucker. Right now I'm playing through an amp that leaves a lot to be desired through the distortion channel. This isn't my Mesa Boogie. I don't know how well the camera is going to pick up the sound, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, This is what it's like with a pedal disengaged. great pedal. I use it on uh, almost every amp I play through. Um, and you just leave it on the entire set and it just kind of redefines and tightens up your distortion. Uh, it's great. Uh, it also has a big effect on your leads. It'll make them a lot milkier and smoother. Right, this is a noise gate. Um, it speaks for itself. If you like to play with a lot of gain and you want to stop on a dime, uh, feedback's going to kill the moment. Okay, gates are really easy to use and um, they should probably go at the end of your effects chain. So I like to have the decay all the way down so I get the fastest response time. And then you just chug and choke and adjust the threshold until you get a clean choke. Rack mount based gates are uh, a little bit more expensive but uh, can eliminate the uh, natural head hum. I prefer to have my uh, noise gate at my foot. Um, sometimes I need the chokes and sometimes I want the feedback. This is my tuner pedal. Um, any Floyd Rose enthusiast would tell you you're dope for not using one of these. Okay, well I'm sure everyone knows how to use one of these. Um, I like to have a chromatic tuner at my foot because when you're playing and you engage it, you get a kill switch, which um, 
keeps you dead quiet on stage while you're tuning. Also, it works as a kill switch, so when you're going a little nuts, it's another way to um, get a dead quick choke. So yeah, these are um, four effects that uh, I can't live without, and uh, I think once you start to use them, you'll realize how uh, valuable they really are in uh, almost any situation.